friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make teriyaki chicken with sticky rice. This teriyaki chicken rice bowl is made up of tender, juicy chicken, homemade teriyaki sauce and served with sticky rice. This chicken is delicious. You can serve it with white rice, brown rice, quinoa or buckwheat. To get the best, juiciest teriyaki chicken, you might want to pre-marinate it the night before. To marinate the chicken, I like to use large Ziploc bag, but you can use regular mixing bowl. You can use chicken breasts or chicken thighs. For this recipe, I use chicken thighs. Remove the extra fat of each chicken fillet and cut each chicken fillet in half. Once the meat is all cut up, place the chicken thighs in a Ziploc bag or mixing bowl. Then we're going to add some black pepper and dry pepper flakes. Then mince the fresh garlic using a garlic press if you have one and add garlic to a Ziploc bag. Pour the soy sauce over the chicken, then press the air out of the bag and seal tightly making sure to press the marinade around the chicken and place the chicken into the refrigerator to marinate for at least one hour or up to a day. Meanwhile, prepare the sauce. With the help of a knife, crack the garlic and peel the skin off. At this point, the skins should be hanging loosely and mince the garlic or use a garlic press if you have one. Add minced garlic to a bowl and set aside. In a bowl or a cup, I'm using just a measuring cup, combine plenty of salt and black pepper, some honey or agave nectar, add chili sauce and add oyster sauce. Pour in the soy sauce, whisk everything together until well mixed and set aside. When you're ready to cook the chicken and the chicken has been marinated for at least one hour, the longer the chicken has been marinated, the juicier and tender it will be. Drain the marinade of the chicken and discard the marinade. Heat a large skillet over medium high heat. Once the skillet is hot, add the oil and swirl to coat the bottom of the skillet. Add the chicken pieces and let cook until well browned on each side and the chicken pieces are cooked through. Making sure not to overcook the chicken, otherwise chicken will be dry. Once the chicken pieces are cooked and golden brown on both sides, remove the cooked chicken to a clean plate. Cover with a piece of aluminum foil to keep the chicken warm. In the same skillet, add the remaining oil and add minced garlic. Saute for one minute, stirring frequently. Try not to burn the garlic. Pour the sauce into the skillet and allow it to come to a boil. Whisk the sauce as it boils to dissolve any browned bits from the bottom of the skillet. At this point, you can adjust the seasoning. Then turn the heat to high and let the sauce come to a light boil. In a small bowl, whisk together soy sauce and arrowroot or cornstarch. Whisk until the thickening mixture is smooth and pour the thickening mixture into the sauce and continue to cook over high heat for about one minute, stirring continually until the sauce reaches your desired consistency. The sauce should not be too runny or too thick. Turn the heat to low and keep the sauce warm. Meanwhile, slice the cooked chicken into thick pieces. This step is optional, that is for serving. I think it looks nice and easy to eat that way, but you can keep the chicken pieces whole. Then add the cooked sliced chicken back to the skillet and coat the chicken pieces well in the sauce and keep it on the heat for just a few more minutes until the chicken pieces warms through. Then turn the heat off and garnish chicken with fresh sliced green onions. This is optional but highly recommended. Green onions will add a mild onion and sweet flavor to the dish. When ready to serve, add cooked rice to a warm serving bowls and top with juicy tender teriyaki chicken and of course with delicious teriyaki sauce. Garnish with fresh green onions or chives and some toasted sesame seeds if desired and enjoy. This teriyaki chicken with sticky rice is so super easy to make and it's so delicious. You'll never need to order this dish out again.
The best part of this is to get to eat it. Mm. This is so good. Really good. Mm. Chicken is so juicy, tender, it's flavorful. Really good. Definitely try it. Mm. My husband can eat all of it. So good, really delicious. I hope you will enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more recipes, and I will see you next time. Bye.